Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Uh, today's a bit of a unboxing kind of and a bit of a tutorial. Um, you can see I haven't even cleaned up since the last video. Um, I have recently purchased a second-hand uh, Yesu uh, FTDX uh, 1200 transceiver um, and I have the uh, Signalink USB um, PC interface for the uh, digital modes. Um, so for those of you that don't know this um, you pretty much buy the interface um, it's got a RJ45 connector on the back um, which goes to your radio and then uh, USB to your PC um, so you don't actually run any audio cables because this is pretty much a, a sound card in itself. Um, uh, so then depending on what radio you have uh, you get different uh, cables uh, and they can plug in various places to, uh, on your radio. So yeah it's up uh, your choice of what you want to do. Um, so because I have a um, FTDX5000 on order, I'm waiting for that to arrive, um, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone for the moment and go with the uh, using the 8-pin mic connector on the front and not use the uh, rear uh, connector the I don't, I don't know what it will be labeled as well, RTTY packet data something like that um, so let me get some scissors uh, pop this cable open then we'll talk about the uh, internals and um, the jumpers okay uh, where are my scissors I had to you here a minute ago Okay, so throw you over there. Yeah, so that is right. So that plugs in where you would normally put your microphone in, and the other end clicks in. Nice. So that is right. Okay, then the way that this interface works, if the server comes out again, is that you can go onto their website and you'll see, if I can get it here, um, there's an area, a, a IC socket, and you can either put your own jumper cables in uh, depending on your radio model and which uh, cable you, you're using um, or you can buy a little PC board a PCB uh, that's pre-wired uh, for your radio so for my old transceiver uh, FT1000 uh, MP Mark 5 uh, field uh, this was the little jumper board um, so I was expecting to receive something like that uh, when I ordered the new one uh, but what I got was this um, with jumpers on um, so my first thought was, ah, they've sent me the wrong thing, got a bit irritated, uh, but then I started looking at the traces and I thought, okay, there's not, let, let me not be lazy, let me just check it out and see. Uh, it takes two ticks to check on a, you know, with a multimeter. 
Um, yeah, so this is just a super quick guide just to run through uh, what these jumpers are actually on here for um, and uh, why this is the, <laughs> why this is the correct uh, jumper board for the um, FTDX 1200 and the uh, FTDX uh, 5000 if you're using the uh, mic mic input okay um, so let's get this foam off quick so what I've done is um, plugged my multimeter leads into alligator clip leads uh, not alligator clip um, whatever you call these doofuses you know the little ones that you push and end in a hook because it is so difficult to get um, multimeter leads in here and the solder mask um, uh, doesn't give you good connection on the top so you can't test it as you would expect um, and also uh, don't test it plugged in uh, you get um, erroneous readings test it outside of your of your signal link okay so um, yeah let's quickly run through what the pinouts should be and confirm that they're right so I'm going to be going backwards and forwards uh, while I read off the pinouts uh, I don't know if they're memorized give me one second um, so Okay, so pin 8, pin 8, which is over here, so you read this just like an IC, the notch indicates which side pin 1 is, and then you start counting round anti-clockwise, so that's pin 1 over here, 1 to 8, 9 to uh, 16. Um, so pin 8 must go to pin 15, pin 15 is the mic input, so yeah, well we're getting beeps, so that is in fact correct, okay, uh, pin 7 goes to ground. Um, if you're working off the diagrams from Signalink, um, it doesn't go to the ground that they are showing but it doesn't matter which ground it goes to as long as it goes to ground so um, they show that it goes to pin let's say 9, uh, 10 but I think in fact it goes to pin 9 but that's fine it is going to ground that's the most important and then, so that's pin 7 and 8. Let me just get the last one. Um, uh, pin 6. Pin 6 must go to pin 14. So pin 6 is that one over there. Must go to pin 14, which is 3 up. Which it is indeed. So with those two jumpers not connected, because they're hanging off, um this is correct so you theoretically can plug and play um however for the ftdx 1200 uh and the 5000 you need to jump a pin five to ground as well and that is where these jumpers come in and that is why they've done it this way so it's actually really clever but 
would have been nice if they yeah just sent some instructions so just when you're in a hurry uh, so eight seven six five so pin five pin five is currently going da, 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 nowhere okay pin five is going nowhere okay but if I take this jumper so that is on the board labeled G1 I should actually give you the model number of this board let's see if the camera will focus um, it's the SL mod 8 R Y Yesu SL mod 8 R Y uh, jumper board um, okay so I've moved to jumper G1 I've closed that now and we'll now find that pin 5 is going to ground as required so that's perfect so that now is ready for both the for both the radio that I have uh, the 1200 uh, and we'll work on my 5000 when I get it uh, the other jumper is for let me just get some model numbers um, let's see a FT890, FT980, FT990, uh, where pin 2 has to be grounded. Uh, so if we jump onto pin 2 with that jumper currently open, we will see that that is... Whoops, that is currently going nowhere. So if I close that, so that is jumper G, G2, which would have been better if they were actually labeled with a J, but anyway, um, there we go. Pin 2 is now going to ground. So that's for radios uh, like the FT890, uh, FT980, FT990, and a host of others um, that need Pin 2 to go to ground. So uh, that is it. So then it is literally a case of very gently sticking it in and pushing it in you don't have to be particularly careful the pins are nice and sturdy it's a really nice quality and it's not an IC so um, there's no worry about static and that is it it's ready to be reassembled and um, yeah, I should be on the air in no time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that's of some use um, for anybody who's using the Signal Link, gets a new radio, Yesu radio, uh, orders their jumper board and uh, gets one of these new ones that's uh, got the jumpers on. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like that, thumbs up. Uh, then like it, thumbs down, S subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have a good day then, cheers, bye.